Hey, I'm Austin. If you don't know who I am, I'm the main gadget show that works in the Cash Canal Casino. Casino with complex circuitry in every game it offers. I'm also the co-teacher in the class The Mathematics of Gadgets, a class that goes into the complex mathematics of CV2. So, today we're going to go over the super basics of CV2. That way, when we move on to more complex subjects, you can have a greater understanding of what we're doing. So, let's cut to the chase. God, that was cheesy. Alright now, this is a bun. Something we're all going to need at some point. But as a beginner, this looks insane. Look at all these pins. So we're going to switch to something way simpler. Boom! Now we've got a button with a single execution pin. Before we go any further, I want to show you guys how these connect. Alright, so over here we've got an array of chips. One thing that's interesting about execution pins is you can't wire one output into multiple inputs because it just switches over. But you can wire multiple outputs into the same input. Outputs send a signal, and when the input gets the signal, that chip executes. So let's head over back to the button. Alright, now let's see that in action. I'm going to grab an SFX chip. I'm going to wire the output of the button to the input of the SFX chip. Now when I hit the button, it's going to play a sound. <laughs> but what if we want the button to count up how many times we've pressed it? What do we do then? Well, let's go see. Alright. So in this time, instead of using SFX chip, we're going to use a variable chip. All a variable chip does is it stores and remembers a value. But to have it add to itself every time you hit the button, we're going to want an add chip. So wire the variable chip into the add chip, and then wire the add chip back into the variable chip so that it's adding onto itself. And don't forget, change this to a 1. Now to change what the button is displaying, we're also going to want a button set text chip. But wait, these are, these are different. That's purple, that's green. All right, let's explain different types of variables real quick. So you remember how I said with execution pins, you can wire multiple outputs to the same input? Well, that only applies to execution pins. Because to anything else, it's the other way around. You can wire one output to multiple inputs. All right, there's plenty of different types of variables, but we're gonna focus on these three today. Integers are your normal numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 52, 24. You know. Floats are more specific than that because they have a decimal place, so they're great for measuring distances and stuff. Strings, on the other hand, they're phrases, words, letters. It's great for communicating a message. As you can see, we're dealing with an integer, and we need to convert that to a string. To do that, we use one of the conversion chips, the two-string chip. This takes anything you plug into it and converts it into a string that you could display on text or buttons. Now that we've got everything we need, we could start wiring it all. First, you wire the button to the variable. Now, every time you hit the button, it stores the value, but it's not displaying. So we're gonna have to wire the execute to the button set text. Now, the yellow pin shows the target. That's just the button that it wants to change. So you wire the chip to the button. Then you wire the integer to the two-string, and the string to the string. And every time we press it, it counts up. We have one little problem here, though. Come here, Toast. You notice, when I press the button, I, I get a different value than when he presses the button. To fix that, you go to the configure tool on your maker pin, configure the variable, and you change it to a synced variable. Now it syncs the number between us, so no matter what happens, it adds to the button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned something new today, make sure you hit that like button. And if you were impressed with that video, you can press that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright then, see you guys.